Today we are going to create a file with our favorite apps. We are going to store it on a USB pen drive, a really small file, and then I can take to any computer that is running Windows, execute that file, and it will download and install the apps that I've chosen. It's awesome. Now there are simple ways and a bit more advanced ways to create this file. Today we are going to see one of the simplest ways that I'm aware of, but it will allow you to learn a little bit so that in the future, you will be able to use the more advanced ways. Let's go for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. So first of all, let's go to our browser and search for Winstall. Now we have talked about it before, but we haven't used one of its features. Now here we will find a repository with over 8,000 apps. We can check out the feature apps on the home page. For example, we can browse through all of them, which will be a headache. And we can also search by the name, which is usually what I do. Now, for example, I'm going to select Spotify. Once I do select, I will click select application. Then I will select Firefox and I will go to select application. And what it's doing is just gathering the applications that I'm selecting into a package. Let's go to WPS Office and do exactly the same. Then I chosen CPU Z, Crystal Disk and Zoom. And of course, we just need to select application on all of them. Now, finally, I just need to click on generate script and it will download a file. We can rename that file to something friendlier like my apps and we are ready to install our apps. Now to run this file, I just need to right click on it and choose run as administrator. There will be a warning screen, but you will just accept it and the script will start downloading and installing everything. We can also run it without admin privileges, but in this case, Windows will ask for permission for each app individually. And if you want everything to install automatically, running as administrator is the best option. Now you can save this file on your USB pen drive. And if you need to install it on a computer such as this one right over here, the only thing that I need to do is insert the pen and execute that file. And it will install the apps that I've chosen. In this particular case, this laptop, for example, didn't have these apps. I just installed it a few minutes ago. Easy as this one click and bam. Now, if you want to add more apps in the future, we just need to open the bat file in our notepad and you will note that the command format is always the same. So simply copy and paste that line and then replace the app ID, which you will find on Winstall. And that is it. Simple as this. Hopefully the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.